guys, it's Mr. AKA Management Henderson. Guys, I am back. I am back, back, back. We financial alphas in here, guys. Uh, we talking about Piggy Bank One now. All right. A Piggy Bank One is having a bank company, guys. All right. You're under a bank company. I know a lot of you guys do not have a bank company you under. I know some of you guys in the process of working on a bank, guys, you might have overdraft your, your, or your account is frozen. Maybe, I don't know, a lot of times, a lot of brothers' accounts is, a fro is frozen because of child support. Yes, they can freeze your account, okay, guys, to the point where it's hard for you to save money, all right? Just say if you, if you owe child support more, more than the money that you're actually saving, guys and you paying off and you still paying off child support yeah guys they will unfreeze your bank account once you pay up once you pay off child support first okay so it's something that we all have to focus on if you own child support to where they freeze they froze your account focus guys stay consistent and just steady paying it off because you need a piggy bank one we all need a bank company it's for protection okay because you can't stay on a piggy bank three too long if you don't have a piggy bank one. You can't stay on a piggy bank three too long. We know that. What is a piggy bank three? You're safe where you have your money in and your own home. And because thieves and robbers, they'll come in, break in, take what you have, guys, especially if they know, all right? A piggy bank too, we can't stay on that too long. What is that? A debit prepaid card, guys, because there is a limit of how much money you can put on a debit prepaid card, all right? Like a Shime card, for example. The more you can put on there is $10,000. So just say your ultimate sacrifice is $10,000 to reach to within six months of how much you want to save. Guys, then that's when you have to elevate automatically to reach to a piggy bank one, okay? Some of you guys hit. Uh, um, some of you guys are reaching to ten thousand within six months. Depends on your job and how much you are making. Okay, so if your job is paying you that much money, guys, well, an hour to where you it estimate to where you can get to ten thousand dollars within six months in your savings. And guys, and if you um, don't have a piggy bank one, guys, then you you can put a whole ten thousand in in once into uh, a piggy bank one guys. They will not investigate. They won't see, think anything suspicious or strange that you put a whole ten thousand dollars because there is evidence that you have backed up with. They go see that okay, he working, he got a good job, he making this amount of money. I can understand that he can say he saved up to ten thousand dollars within six months to put all this into. A piggy bank one. They go understand, guys. But if you's a motherfucker who don't have a job, and you side hustling, you had a piggy bank three and shit like that, and you saved up to $10,000 within six months, and you're trying to get to a piggy bank one, a bank company, just say you're trying to get to Wells Fargo, guys, they go see like, Negro, please, I ain't for the, I ain't, you ain't for to get no savings account, like all this money. They go investigate, guys. That's too much money at once when you don't have nothing to bag it up with. You don't have no business permit. Of course, you don't have no job. So they go say, well, maybe he's doing something illegal. It can be blood money. They don't know what this money coming from, guys. So it's the same thing like if the police come searching your house and you saved up to like $5,000 within six months guys and you don't have no piggy bank one which is a bank company you don't have no piggy bank two guys which is a debit prepaid card only thing you have is a piggy bank three it's not enough so you say uh, which is a safe so you saved all your money in a safe and down now the police searching your house that's too much money to have in a safe in your home, guys, by law. So what will happen? They will take it away. Okay, guys? They're going to take it away. Just like what the bank would do. All right? They need evidence. That police will need evidence. 
Now, if you had some type of evidence and backup to why you have so much money in your home, guys, cool. But automatically, they'll take it away if they don't see nothing that can bag it up, guys. All right? That's why I say elevate into a piggy bank, too, if you don't have a job and you're saving money, guys. Elevate, meaning that, guys, a piggy bank, three, only can get at least save about 2500 once you least save twenty five hundred into a piggy bank three into your safe, elevate into a piggy bank two. Put that twenty five hundred on a prepaid card, guys. All right, and at least get to five thousand dollars on a prepaid card into your savings. Once you get to five thousand, guys, maybe I don't know you'll have some type of business, some permit. You you can get out of your side hustle. You can have. A better job. I don't know what it is. Something great can happen, guys. And then you reach to your piggy bank one. And if you can't get to a piggy bank one, like I said, because there's some type of your account is frozen, anything like that, that means you have steps. You have another step to work on. You got to work on paying off something to get to that piggy bank one. We need to get to that piggy bank one, guys, a bank company. We know that if a bank ever get robbed, it is not your money that they took, guys. The robbers took the bank's money, guys, all right? If you have an item, some type of collection inside a bank that's worth selling for your children in the future, it would most likely, an item ain't going to get stolen. That item still going to be in there. So once you dead, gone, it can be left over for your children, your wife, or whatever, something that's worth selling, okay, until your piggy bank one. That's why I say Piggy Bank 1 is way better protection, guys. It is way better protection. And, guys, when having a Piggy Bank 1, we don't trust a stranger 3, of course. Who is that? Someone we are close to. Someone who living with you in your own house or you living with someone, guys, can be a stranger 3. We don't tell a stranger 3 how much money we have in our savings. All right? Especially, we know they have some type of criminal record when it came down to money. Guys, we don't we do not um, do no joint account until our piggy bank one, guys, until our, and, and, and savings, guys. We don't do shit like that. If it's a girl you just now know, you think you can trust her, yeah, she your girl, she got money too. No, we, no, we don't do shit like that. We know better than that. We financial alphas here, guys. We got to keep ourselves protected, okay? We look out for us first, all right, guys? Uh, another thing, watch out for Stranger 3, guys. If they don't have a piggy bank one, I mean, just say, not if they don't. If you don't have a piggy bank one, guys, don't be into a rush to the point where you're giving your power away as far as you want to put your hard-working savings your money, even if, just say you haven't even reached your ultimate sacrifice yet. Just say your ultimate sacrifice is 7000 within six months. You haven't even reached it yet, but you are saving money. Just say you're on your third month. You're on you $3,400, guys. Just say you $3,400 on your third month. And you got a girl. I want to put a girlfriend because most likely us niggas will do shit like this. She have a, a piggy bank one, meaning she have a bank company. Just say she have a Bank of America, guys, a savings. Don't give up your power, all right? That's some bullshit. We don't give up our power, meaning we don't give our money, our savings, to put in her savings, guys, and her savings account. Just because if we don't have a piggy bank one, a bank company we under, we don't put... I'm hardworking savings money or ultimate sacrifice savings into her savings account, guys. All right? Uh, anything can happen or she can be decept. It can be a deception, guys, to where she can take your money. You know, you just want to be protected. All right? We depend on self, guys. And if you have a piggy bank one and your, if you have a girl or whatever, you think you can trust her? Don't allow her to put her money into your piggy bank one if she don't have a piggy bank one of savings. Okay, guys? All right? 
We don't trust nobody over here. We we financial alphas. All right. So guys, and if you get a whole lump, a whole lump is a either a um, government income tax each year, a insurance income, guys, or a surprise income. So if you get a whole lump, guys, and you have a piggy bank one, yes, guys, uh, yes, it's good to uh, have a. Uh, Put your put the half of your whole half of your savings. I mean, the half of your whole lumps into your savings, guys. All right. Don't put all your whole lump into your savings. Put half of your whole lump into your savings. If you get any type of uh, government income tax each year, insurance income, or guys, if you get the whole lump, like um, not the whole lump, the surprise of the whole lump, which is uh hitting a lotto or someone just want to give you a load of money, it all comes at once, guys. Put half of that into your piggy bank one. All right, guys? All right, so, guys, anyways, a piggy bank one, it can be connected to a piggy bank two automatically, and it's automatically connected to a piggy bank three. All right, guys, I hope you ha um, I'll take heed. So, share, like, um, have any co comments, questions, you know, Hit below. All right. Uh, peace.